morning. Okay, so you are all ready for the second part of Bhavai? Yes. Uh, today we will look into uh, how the Bhavai expressions have and changed over the period. As you know, Bhavai is concentrated traditionally in North Gujarat and in Saurashtra. The Nayaka and the Targalas of the North Gujarat and Saurashtra region have kept the Bhavai alive. With lots of ups and downs, still the form continues. Normally, Bhavai is performed as we know in the rural setting and in area. Hence, the costumes and get up is preserved to match the traditional dressing and the popular dressing of that time seen in the villages. Accessories include mirror, grinding stone, soapstone, sandstone, coal, bronze bowl, vermilion and oil lamp, groundnut oil, mustache, beard, long hair, wig, glue, conch, woolen or cotton thread ball, etc. These are for makeup and various properties and props to create the different characters. Uh, the some of the important accessories and makeup things which were used for long time and to an extent even today are the grinding stone. It is a round shaped grinding stone. Uh, it is required to rub the sandstone into a paste that is the bodar. Only one grinding stone exists among all the members of the performing troupe. If the play demands installation of a goddess, then the grinding stone is kept in that place and a vessel filled with water is kept nearby. Water is taken from the vessel and the sandstone is rubbed on the stone. The bodar makes the base, as we call the base, like uh, pancake for the makeup. Then the bowl or the cup, which is a heavy bronze or copper bowl or cup, which forms a vital item for makeup. When goddess is installed on the stage, then the bowl doubles up as a respectable oil lamp and when artists are doing makeup, then the bowl made of bronze or copper is filled with water and kept on the flame of the lamp. This will create sooty coal on the edges of the bowl. Even now, all Bhavai artists follow the tradition of using this coal to apply around their eye line. Though some have started using the ready-made kajal ointments or pencils or whatever that is now available easily. Sandstone, this forms the chief makeup accessories for Bhavai artist. This is available in a soft stone-like texture. It is light pink color. It is a chemical compound of zinc. When the powder is mixed into paste with water and applied on skin, it does not cause any side effects or irritation. In fact, it is said to accentuate the fairness and smoothness of skin. Since it is naturally sparkling in nature, the artist do not even have to apply artificial glitter. It is important to note one thing here. Normally, each Bhavai performer uses his costumes and accessories independently. But the director of the Bhavai group purchases the sandstone collectively for all artists. The sandstone is close to each performer. The stone is sprinkled with water and rubbed on grinding stone and a smooth paste is created. The paste is used as a foundation makeup on face. The paste blends with the skin and gives it a luster. Those who have to play a female part add a bit of Google or kumkum giving a pinkish tone to the cheek and lips. Even if the sandstone paste is applied in the evening, it effects last long and you do not have to use additional makeup till the next morning. As time ticks by, the luster of sandstone paste only gets better. The red turmeric powder is used to color the lips and do a tikka on the forehead or apply on the edges of the palms and the sole. Gulal, this red color powder is used to make 
the foundation of the stained stone powder paste darker or lighter to suit the nature and masculinity femininity of the character if a character has to appear pinkish tone on face the gulal is mixed with little water and the paste is applied above the sandstone foundation makeup these characters playing female roles mix gulal in the sandstone paste for getting a fairer tone so the natural sandstone paste becomes different shades of the pancake using turmeric or gulal as in how needed if some characters have to exhibit specific emotions or appear older than then they apply white lines of magnesium silicate that is the soapstone on their bodies the soapstone is mixed with water to make a paste which is applied as lines on the body parts to show a very aged and old person the paste is applied also on hair and mustache as well the coal or the eyeliner is to show an aged character of fierce nature and the beauty of the eyes to bring out the coal is used to express a rough nature of the anti hero or villain or to show devilish look or a monstrous avatar the coal is effectively used as an eye makeup support also to express the hilarious nature and facial expressions of characters such as dagla coal is effectively used just like coal indigo is applied on the face to characters who have to express emotions such as wickedness shrewdness cruelty mischievousness devilishness etc indigo is mixed with soapstone and applied on the face as per the requirement of the character and impersonification artificial mustache beard are created and used mustache as accessory is mandatory for characters like ravan jhanda and when depicting muslim characters or saints and sages chhel batao juthan the beard is also used in accessory long hair and wig are used when dressing up as saints bhava no vesh like vishwamitri or harish chandra do vesh the saint in jasma order ravan in saint disguise during sita haran vesh the performers use long hair that also when portraying masculine roles in which hero has a ponytail the long hair wig is used as per the demands of the character the groundnut oil or sweet oil is used to remove makeup at the end of the performance makeup is removed with this oil and the because of the effectiveness of the oil the skin remains clean for long 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 years usually the men perform the women roles in bhavai the actors who perform women are called kanchalya the kanchalya while putting on the costume fit balls in the brasher and wear a blouse in order to acquire the feminine getup according to the emerging trends in costumes and makeup many artists now prefer instant makeup whitening lipstick kajal stick nail polish bindi stickers and so on as for their makeup needs but original bhavai artists and especially the kanchali actors take personal interest in the art of makeup even now when you see actors such dressed and decorated to the hilt for a performance you can capture their facial grow and be enamored by the transformation of a man into a female character it was a delight to see babu bhai and mani bhai doing the female roles in mayari novesh babu bhai as the ra mangda wado amazing amazing actors bhavai troops and presentations are very special in ancient times there was strict adherence to rules and regulation regarding the formation of the bhavai troop each troop consisted of more than 9 and less than 20 members performers comprised of actors kanchaliyas natwo and musicians 
and the presentation of bhavai would happen as follows in the first act the audience would be engaged and the made to settle down by playing songs musical instruments and even invocation prayer to a deity before the drama begins the troop members before getting into their roles assemble for a prayer pipers would blow the bhungal announcing the commencement of the bhavai additionally the players would play try playing the bhungal in whatever they can reproduce the sound the sounds of the bhungal decides when the act begins or where it is halted when it has to end or when the alert actors who have gone to change costume the long range pitch of the bhungal makes sure the actor listens to its rhythm and assemble on the stage sometimes the tabla players will play slowly or they will play with a loud thump to charge up the action on stage and excite both the artist and the audience they sort of play with the theme the pitch and the movement on the stage actors doing female roles would usually dress up in shimmering silk clothes as per the dikkats of the time and situation the dress would also be velvet crepe silk zari nylon lace embroidered sarees and other dresses as per the contemporary dressing trends the tailoring and cut of the blouse would also change as per the trends of the time therefore the dressing of the actors doing female roles don't really have a general design structures it is also sometimes heard that through this bhavai artist many fashions were perpetuated and the women would start dressing according to the fashion shown by the bhavai as per the role of the characters the actors playing male roles dress accordingly their dress includes surwal angarkha jhabba pachedi shirt uparnu kes bundi coat vaga sailor suit head cover made of sarees or cloth piece deer skin and such the head gear would have feta cap hat pagdi mugat crown peacock mayur pang kabir hat kalgi and so and so forth as per tradition the actors wear costume of different colors both the male and female roles would accessorize with ornaments actors performing ro- women roles would cover their hair with ornaments like damini tikko sair golden strings flowers buckle pins discs in ponytail garland of flowers or pearl strands in the hair on the nose they sport the nathani nose ring and solitaire diamond on ears they wear peacock feathers rings pearl drops earrings dangler's flowers and and on the neck they would wear small pearl necklace rice pearl necklace golden necklace long short garland gold silver chains mangal sutra geet link strings link chains i mean you name it and they wear it it is showing all the fashions of the times in hands they wear bangles bracelets kada kangan patla balo yu chablu and watch as well in fingers they wear varieties of finger rings on the waist they wear kanduro in the legs anklets chains gungru jhum jhum and all such things as per the demands of the characters they are portraying in the toes they wear bichhua and chaliya and on the feet as per the character they wear footwear from chappals to paduka mojli shoes and so on the men wear kundals pearl earrings peacock feather on the ear on the neck they wear big pearl neck garland gold achodo gantho neck piece and on the hands they wear bracelets kada baju band in finger rings and waist kandoro and a chain or ankles anklets on gungru also in the feet at times as per the characters they wear footwear footwear like shoes pavdi mojdi slipper chappal so on the female characters would impersonate goddess forms and would wear dark colored silk chaniya or ghagru with many folds or gear lace or other embellishments usually there will be a transparent odni of red or yellow color only having the lace work 
face will have a bindi on forehead and a crown with glitter on it. The male would wear Asur character dresses like Mahishasur, which will have a black cloth, jabba, black lenga, a bandyu, a colorful dhoti, black waist, and red cloth tied to the waist. The headpiece would be like a hem helmet with two horns on it. Hand will carry a wooden staff. According to the Muslim customs, the women characters would wear colored clothes with yellow or blue lace, silk ghagra or chaniya, light blue or white chicken work with full sleeve angarku, on top of which there would be velvet or precious crepe jari work and embroidered vest, which could be deep red, blue or green in color. The hodni can be of white or light pastel colors and georget or nylon fabric. The hodni would be embroidered with lace, pearls or ribbon. This is the dress for Muslim customs. So, Ramdes would do that. Now, Jhando uh, will wear white chundri mojdi in the feet, wearing a deep colored angarkha made of silk, having a lace embroidery nylon sari overall. This is used to hold the sword. The shoulders have a silk case and bajuban made of furs. The left hand carries a sword. The right has a staff kept at an angle. The staff may be covered with a sari or fabric in such a way to make person feel Jando is riding the horse. Black beard, moustache, cold lined eyes, necklace and garland in the neck. Big pearls in the earlobes and special decorated ear headgear like the crown will furnish his dressing. Vanyo, the merchant, will have a white dhoti shoes in the feet. White bandhu and a short fitting coat, white case on coat, white, white moustache, white eyes, small pearl necklace, small earrings and white pagli on the head. Costumes, garments, specially glittering silky clothes, pearl embroidery work, zari embroidery, uh, all they were used very generously. Uh, during the dances, the female characters would don a transparent lilon, odni, dupatta and sari. Bhava is as such the folk drama of Gujarat which used to be very prosperous and it has taken numerous twists and turns in its development. But similar to Bhava, there are many other forms like Nautanki and Jashan and Bhand and uh, so on and so forth in many other language uh, regions of India. During Navratri, before the Navratri, each group goes for a mujra. Mujra is offering to the goddess of either Unja or in any other place where the group has its mata. And similarly, they have from families, but it is more and more difficult for all these families to survive only on Bhavai because with the changing times of the socio-political cultural changes, the village life has changed and from the village life, the city urban areas have changed, the areas of entertainment have changed and uh, in the urban regions, many people have started doing Bhavai since long time, but that Bhavai and the traditional Bhavai are in a sense very apart in their presentations, in their performances, perhaps in their outlook because though they have, here it is Ranglo in the urban areas and then there is Daglo both are comic characters, uh, Ranglo and Daglo are very different. Uh, a lot of Bhavais today in the urban areas are performed for passing on a message. But here the Bhavai, traditional Bhavai was more of a social commentary, more of a comment on the political scenario 
where the Targalas could also point out to the ruling, the ruler, the king and if he had any problems and if there was something wrong happening in the village then it was Targalas who could tell without any fear to the king through their presentation. So now we will look into the detail uh, how it was performed and how it is performed. In an open space of about 10 by 10 feet on the village square, Vavai would be organized with people around, sitting around the actors from three sides. Since the actors were facing the spectators all the time, are facing all the time, Bhavai had to have a well enacted performance in order to engage and get a grip with the audience. Bhavai does not use any set or backdrop for its plays and only very symbolic things. The use of lighting as seen in modern day theatre production in halls is also not possible for Bhavai. Since there is almost negligible use of stagecraft, the onus of success of the play lies entirely with the expression and performance of the actors, the strength of the actors. Their actions can spark imaginations among the audience. Then and now, let us see what has happened since its inception about 750 years ago. Bhavai has enjoyed its distinct position in the society and special the rural society. Among the communities in rural Gujarat, there was a sense of affection for the Bhavai performers. Villagers would support and patronize Bhavai performers, providing them with gifts or aid at some, with some happy occasion or festival. By nourishing these relations, the villages would keep the art of Bhavai alive. So this would mean that each village Bhavai people had their Yajman. The Yajman will invite the Bhavai group yearly. They will provide them with food grains for the year and whatever was necessary for the whole year the Bhavai groups will travel from village to village with invitation from the host or the Yajman. Likewise, the Bhavai artist also had deep respect for the host or the helping families. It is the, that even if a sick cow in the village dies, the Bhavai performers wouldn't perform, signaling unity in times of grief. There are also examples of valor by the Bhavai players in the defense of the host village against attack. And the story of Asait protecting the Brahmin girl from the Mughal is known to everyone. Bhavai is no match against a powerful adversary like television and cinema. Therefore, Owing to the gradual dissociation of village folk and continuous onslaught from the worthy opponent in this times of multimedia, theater, television and computers, Bhavai theater has slowly begun to disintegrate. The third and the final nail in the coffin was the psychological transformation of the Bhavai artist themselves. Staying awake till late for nights altogether, continuous travel, life full of difficulties, staying away from home, uncertainty about the hospitality, very low income, all compounded into the Bhavai artists themselves, shunning the art as a profession and pick up a small job or trade which offered a settled life with regular income. It is very sad that this kind of livelihood tradition which provided 
a healthy entertainment is lost or is getting very quickly lost there have been efforts by the state and the central governments to provide support but that support is never enough to make the artist continue the art because even with that the income is very meager and the younger generation of the bhavai families bhavaiya families are most of the times not cut up for this still there is hope because a lot of them are learning and now what is it the people media is using bhavai it can become a pivotal role in popularizing bhavai and spreading it beyond the regional confined space to reach a wider audience media can use it as a tool to build public awareness civic education all of which will spell social development of the nation bhavai as an art can provide liveliness and freshness to the viewers rural public still watches bhavai with a discernible liking the government government communication cells television radio newspapers can all tie up with bhavai to offer rural awareness education rekindle the love for indian traditions these elements can use bhavai as an art form with good intentions and continuously experiment to preserve this art the recent use of amul to spread its message in the rural areas using bhavai is one such example and then how is the performance of bhavai in these modern times the modern times normally bhavai artists perform and play for 7 to 8 months in a year a troupe usually comprises 20 30 artists after the first spell of rains the artists visit their holy shrine on an auspicious day the mata ji mujro as we know dance there and then embark on their journey to the host in different villages depending on the time circumstances and popularity of the troop the village seniors headmen chief or sarpanch invite the troop to perform in their village either by a letter or by paying a personal visit or now by phone call the director of the troop visits the respective villages and arranges for the right date and auspicious day occasion to perform the singing in bhavai starts very early in the afternoon so that by 4 o'clock onwards the troop comprising two bhungar players that is the long stick table and tabla players two one or two kanchalya that is the comic dancers and some lead actors and others start sing singing and dancing in the village chowk the village meet, meeting point pre notice that village folk led by seniors and headmen they assemble slowly this is a notice given that okay this evening there will be a bhavai performance and all come down the mats are laid down to sit comfortably and bhavai artists appear and share the history and origins of bhavai they then showcase a small lek sadhu no vesh for people to get familiar with the theater concept if the audience likes it then as per the wishes of the villages it is decided to host the play with full costume generally an open ground or play place where maximum audience can be accommodated is selected for the venue in the village usually the venue is front of the village temple or the chowk and the stage is as you've seen earlier very simple four pillars 10 by 10 area and these are the boundaries of the stage patromac or light bulbs are fixed but now you can have hologens and uh, all kinds of lights are rented out for the village on the pillars to provide light support since the performing area is in open and the surrounding 
the performers dress up behind the curtain or in a nearby guest house the place or temporarily created green room a residence itself a designated walkway is arranged for the artists to reach the stage for from their guest house as the dusk settles the children and adults decide upon their choice of sitting and make a token reservation by dragging their cot or chair or mattress and leave at that point the connoisseurs of the art leave no stone unturned to select their favorite spot whether atop tall tree or on strong home galleries atop watch towers they lay beddings on top of a bullock cart etc the audience sits on all sides of the performing area and play begins by the nightfall before the play what happens either in the performing area or at the place where the artists dress up and they get ready a lamp is lit facing a photograph of goddess or ma bhavani the artists do an invocation dance and play the bhungar tabla harmonium thereafter the musicians include the bhungal players tabla players harmonium masters escort the troop towards the play area the musicians play this instruments in all four directions and settle down in one place first character to enter the stage is ganesh spraying kumkum on the stage then comes goddess kali presumably to be the destroyer of the evil and she sprays oil on the play area and symbolically removes the impurities sickness or the disease from the village then comes the brahmin and proclaims the auspicious moment he is followed by juthan daglo and jharandi slowly the tempo and the play atmosphere builds up after jharan leaves jharan leaves daglo performs the ras dance or sometimes does an aarti this marks an end to the prologue of bhavai the main act starts now the bhavai performance is carried out through the night normally has two acts or maybe more after the prologue ends the narrator or the sutradhar arrives followed by six women lady characters the commencement of the main act is announced and a brief description of the act is given by the narrator after the first act goes over there is an interval following which the second act is performed contributions are there is generally no ticket for watching bhavai bhavai actors when they begin performance they don't know how much they will earn out of the whole show as the bhavai acts begin enthusiastic young boys of the village take out a notebook and ask for donations in cash or kind from the villagers in the audience finally they submit the cash amount and some food grain etc promised in the notebook to the elders in the village apart from this the audience also offers money on the aarti plate artists dressed as gods and goddesses are also given cash gifts or gifts by the village folk in exchange of blessings the musicians and singers also get some tips for playing any favorite song or request song on an average each performance earns maybe 2000 to 10000 or more less talented bhavai troop or financially weak villages may get less despite the such un- uncertainties the practice of hosting a bhavai in a village for a predetermined amount and fee has recently started but yet not seeped into its roots in this genre sometimes while performing at a private function or during a diro performance the troops are given contractual performance fees this is how the traditional bhavai goes and in the city the bhavai which began i think at the ms university in baroda 
by Sri Chandravadan Chimanlal Mehta, the doyen of theatre in India and in Gujarat around 1950s with his Hoholika has continued so far in that the Bhavai is performed on the stage keeping most of the elements alive uh, like the coming of uh, Ganapati, Avnu, but everything becomes uh, sort of shortened and one vesh they it is not performed through the night but it is maybe half an hour 40 minutes and these are all contractual shows uh, it has bhungar it has elements of dance and uh, modern themes like the amul or uh, any any conference of there is the organizers request uh, uh, leading bhavai players of the city to create a special bhavai on the theme uh, so there can be a aids in uh, uh, to show the uh, how aids can be controlled and what is bad about aids or about the breast cancer or varieties or ecological balance such topics such relevant contemporary topics are made into a bhavai vesha and that such a vesh is performed by ranglo rangli and a small group of artists in the cities as well and they are pretty popular so bhavai has a bright future and maybe some of you will later go to the villages and also learn that style of bhavai thank you and we will discuss later namaste